This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. To order, upload a Java file, you will get one to two layer PCBs for just two dollars. Click Save to Cart, reconfirm the details, and check out securely. Then fill your shipping details. Okay, so guys, here what you see that I have uh, removed the fan. Although the shaft is very jammed, it is taking a lot of pressure to rotate the shaft. You see, now if I'm going to connect a battery, it is going to take huge amps to simply run. One more thing, guys. Since I got it from Scrapyard, you can see that only one wire is uh, available for connection and the other one is barely visible so i also have to open this up and replace the wire and uh, you see this is the screw slot and this is the second screw slot and uh, one of the screws is completely jammed you can see this one is completely rusted so i will have to oil this up before i proceed so that its head does not get damaged the other one still seems fine so let's open it up and restore it And guys, here as you can see, I've got a drill press and I've got a brilliant way to open the rusted screws. Cool, right? And here is the vice. I'm going to place the motor on it. Okay, so let's force open it. You can see that it is opening. Cool. Now that it is loose, let's get on to the other one. Yeah. Oh, let's open this one too. Yeah, cool, right? It's opening. Both of them are loose now. Let's take the head apart. So guys, now that the screws are loose, let's open them up. Wow, nice. You see, although it was very rusted and bad looking from outside but inside it is as good as new. The armature is still that bright and the windings are really thin. It is going to uh, generate a huge amount of current. Yeah, it's really nice looking. Although from outside the bearing is all rusted. Yeah, it's the bearing that is jammed. It is still tight. I will have to oil it a lot too. I might have to replace it. Yeah, it looks very nice. Yeah, let's see the inside view of this. Yeah, the magnets are also pretty good and the brushes are also very healthy. I will give you a closer view. You can see the brushes are also healthy. So I have to take the back off and then uh, rewire it. Yeah, everything else seems fine. All I have to do is uh, connect one more wire because one is broken over here. And uh, then check if this bearing can be replaced or uh, like oiled and then used again. So let's do that. Yeah, this is from the brush inside, brushes inside, yeah. 
okay so guys uh, here as you can see I have oiled the shaft and the bearing is very free now you see it's working really smooth yeah okay, I'll charge the shaft you see it is working pretty good now the only problem remain is that the shaft is a lot rusty uh, so I will have to remove the rust with uh, the help of a sandpaper so let's do that too So guys here as you can see I took apart uh, the field winding uh, actually it is not the field winding it is just the field because it is permanent magnet you can see the spring from the brushes came out and got stuck to the magnets right so let's move them and this is the brush set you can see how thick the brushes are for this motor these are for carrying huge amount of current and this is the inductor yeah it's uh, it's very nice so uh, yeah I have to give a jumper from here the brown wire and then take it out from here because this wire is broken so I will have to remove this one also yeah okay yeah this is the wire that I have to remove and replace with another better one okay and finally this is the base bearing yeah it's working fine no oiling needed Okay so guys here as you can see that I have tried uh, to clean up the shaft as much as I could. So this is the max that I am going to uh, clean and I am not going to clean it anymore. Okay so let's uh, place in this uh, rotor or armature back in this field set. Okay I have to be careful. It's going to... Yeah you have to set it like this until the slot for the screws is visible. Yeah. As you can see it is visible now yeah at present it is touching the magnets so when the base will get fit so it will be held in between by both the bearings on the base and the top so this much is done now comes the brush okay so the good idea is to make this wire stay like this like now the brush is held by the corner of this slot and same with this one Okay, so guys, I've placed the screws, but uh, although I have uh, not tightened it up and everything is in place, all I have to do is tighten them up. So let's do that. Yeah, it's tight now. Okay, so guys, as you can see that uh, the DC motor is complete. Now in perfect working condition, it is uh, running very smooth. And these are the two new wires that I have for the motor. You can see it's installed uh, pretty smooth. 
Now let's try and run it. So for that I'm going to use this 12 volt 7H UPS battery. Okay, one wire has been connected. Now comes the second one. Watch the shaft. You can see that it is working pretty good. Yeah, it is working really good. Also guys, let's measure the amps it is consuming for running as motor. Connecting one terminal has been connected. Now let's connect the other terminal. Watch the multimeter screen. So yeah, now the starting current is around 1 ampere and the running current is around 0.35 amperes yeah running current is very low okay okay so guys now comes the part where i'm going to measure the generated voltage of this motor pmdc motor okay so let's point the meter towards 20 volts dc mode okay and connect these two wires okay so the wires have been connected keep watching the display screen okay i will keep it like this okay simple hand rotation 3 volts 4 volts 4.5 volts yeah now let's do some rope rotation Okay, keep watching the display screen. Whoa, the voltage was more than 20 volts. That's interesting. Let's do the test again. Seems like it has a 24 volts motor. Keep watching the display screen. 31 volts DC. That is very nice. Once again, let's see if I can take it even higher. Okay. Yeah, 31 volts was the maximum I could do. Let's measure the current now. So guys, keep watching the display screen. Whoa, 5.69 amperes. Now the motor is very powerful. It is generating somewhere around 5.69. I'll take it as 6 amperes if I could just rotate it a little harder. So 6 amperes and 30 volts. So 180 watts. Okay, so guys, I'm going to try once again and a little more harder. Let's see if I can generate more amperes. Okay, keep watching the display screen. So guys as you saw that I generated 6.10 amps with rope rotation that was really high current. So now I am going to test this 12 volts car indicator bulb and I am going to glow this with this generator. Okay so the terminals have been connected let's wound the rope. Yeah let's keep it like this. Nice once more cool hey guys i got few products from banggood okay so i wanted to tell what uh, the future projects could be about in the upcoming days yeah these are uh, really large propellers and two of them and a few boost converters you see yeah and these are actually packed i have to open them five of these and most important the two in one multimeter and oscilloscope type it's uh, really nice 
Link for all these products will be provided in the description below. So don't forget to check them out.